Here's problem 2519. A 60 microcoulomb charge is held fixed at the origin and a minus 20 microcoulomb charge is held fixed on the x-axis at a point x equal to 1 meter. If a 10 microcoulomb charge is released from rest at a point x equal to 40 centimeters, what is its kinetic energy the instant it passes the point x equal to 70 centimeters? Let's see if we can uh, construct what's going on here. And we're really going to need the x-axis. We have a positive charge at the origin, that's called Q1, of 60 microcoulombs. And then we have a negative charge at x equal 1. And let's call it Q2. That's a negative 20 microcoulombs. And then we have a third charge located at x equal 0.4 going to x equal 0.7. And this third charge is positive. It's called Q3, 10 microcoulombs. This third charge is going to travel from x equal 0 0.4 to x equal 0 0.7. So we're going to travel this, this distance here. All right, <clears throat> we know it's going to be um, repulsed by the positive charge at the origin and attracted to the negative charge at x equal 1 but the E field is going to be changing dramatically over this distance. So we don't have a constant E field. So it's hard to deal with the change in kinetic energy based on dynamics. So we're going to have to use energy on this problem. So we'll have to calculate the potential at uh, point 1, it's called V1, and the potential at point 2, V2. And then calculate the change in potential energy between these two points. Okay. So V1 is going to equal KQ1 over R1 plus KQ2 over R2. And that's going to be equal to 9 times 10 to the 9. Q1 is 60 microcoulombs. And the distance away is 0.4 meters. Q2 is a negative 20 microcoulombs. And the distance away is 0.6 meters because it's going from 1 to 0.4. Alright, so if I calculate that, I get 1.05 times 10 to the 6 volts. That is the potential at point 1. My potential at point 2 is going to be KQ1 over R1 plus KQ2 over R2. R1 and R2 will be different this time. And this is going to be 9 times 10 to the 9. Times uh, 60 microcoulombs. And the distance to this point from the 60 microcoulombs would be 0.7 meters. Plus a negative 20 microcoulombs. And that distance will be 0.3 meters. And that is equal to 1.71 times 10 to the 5 volts. That's our second potential. Hence our change in potential, which is our second potential minus our first potential, is 1.71 times 10 to the 5 minus... 1.05 times 10 to the 6 and that's going to be equal to a negative 8.79 times 10 to the 5 volts. So our change in potential energy is our charge times our change in potential which will be 10 microcoulombs times a negative 8.79 times 10 to the 5 volts. And what is that? It has a negative 8.79 joules. So that's our change in potential energy, but we want to find the change, 
we want to find the kinetic energy when it passes the point x equals 7. Well, we know that our change in potential energy plus our change in kinetic energy equals 0. So our change in kinetic energy will equal the negative of our change in potential energy. And so that will equal a positive 8.79 joules. But our change in kinetic energy is our final kinetic energy minus our initial kinetic energy. And we start it with an initial kinetic energy of zero because we start at rest. So our initial kinetic energy is zero, so our final kinetic energy will equal 8.79 joules. So that's our answer. 8.79 joules for a final kinetic energy of the third charge when it passes the point x equals 70 centimeters. Answer. Thank <laughs> you.